Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today in a Critical Legends, I'm gonna be going over an amazing healer class build that is easy to obtain. The whole point of this video is going over items that are actually easy to get. If you wanna get the healer class, what you must first do is make your way to the bottom of the snowy mountain area there will be a healer staff statue. You must walk up to it, interact with it, and this is how you get healer tier one. To get healer tier two, you must come back to the main spawn and go to the legit shop. In the legit shop, there is an advanced tier two core. You must buy one of those, put it in your active slot, activate it, and this will give you healer tier two. To get healer tier three, you must find the self heal scroll or the group heal scroll, but here is the self heal scroll. Once you have the self heal scroll equipped in your active slot, you must heal yourself for like 300 plus health several times. Like you need to do this over and over and over again and eventually your class will switch to tier three. This part can take you a while depending on your luck. To get tier four, you must make your way over to the champion area. You must keep battling the champion over and over and over again and get a bunch of mystical urns open the mystical urns and eventually you will get a hope fragment the hope fragment is how you get your healer from tier three to tier four all you got to do is put it in your active slot and like usual activate it now that is definitely a good enough class you don't have to get it to tier five for it to be good but if you want to go all the way to tier five you got to make your way to the raid area and in the raid area you got to find the healer teacher they're going to give you a quest to heal yourself for like 125,000 ish hp and basically what you got to do is just go into a battle against the true heart or something with a lot of health make sure you just take as much damage as you can and then constantly heal yourself once you completed the quest just go back to the quest giver turn it in and your class will switch to tier 5. Now I know healer goes up to tier 8 but for the point of this video we're stopping at tier 5. So now let's get into the actual build for this video. You're going to want to put every single point you have into magic. If that's 400, 800, it doesn't matter. Everything goes into magic. Now your first item is going to need to be HP. HP comes from the black market which is a guy at a green bench that teleports all around the map. I think it's 60 or 80,000 gold is not too bad but you really, really, really want HP. It makes this build so much better because it gives you a ton of health and allows you to tank anything. If you happen to have a snowman heart instead, this could maybe work. This came from the last winter event and because it just gives you so much shield, but I really recommend HP. For the next slot, I really, really recommend using Strength Saga. So Strength Saga also comes from the black market. 15 speed, 750 mana, and 400 magic. This thing is amazing, although it is definitely harder to get than HP because it costs like 300,000 gold. So if you don't have Strength Saga, you could always go for the Knowledge Cube instead. Knowledge Cube is basically the same thing with a little bit less magic damage. So if you guys don't know what the Meteorite is, every time you see this message in the chat, the Meteorite will fall on top of this cliff. It's going to be bright and pink. It's very hard to miss it. All you gotta do is walk up to that and interact with it, and that will give you a chance at getting the Knowledge Cube. That's also gonna give you a chance at getting Meteor Delta. Meteor Delta is another one that you could use in this slot. It gives you 500 max mana and 250 magic. All three of these are fantastic choices. Yes, they all are a, a little hard to get, but in my opinion, y'all should definitely be working towards these items because they're a lot easier to get than Demon God Armors and they are definitely, definitely worth it. And technically, you can get all of these from Rebirth as well. And then in the last slot, if you have seven eternal stacks, you're gonna be using her staff slash devolve. The reason why you want to be using this is because the amount of magic it gives is stupid. All you need is seven eternal stacks, and all you got to do is come to this area on the map and talk to this NPC, and they're going to give it to you. It is so dang easy to get this. However, you do have to have seven eternal stacks, which means rebirthing seven times. So if you do not have her staff devolve, one thing you can always do is just use Strength Saga with Knowledge Cube. That always works, but another option you can use is just using Demon Cell. Demon Cell is also going to be from the black market, and every time you deal 1,000 damage, it has a 30% chance of spawning three orbs. So the reason why this is always a good option if you don't have her staff or another thing that gives a lot of magic is because this is just going to allow you to get a lot of orbs to spawn in, and this will work for you pretty dang well. Now, an ultimate, ultimate, fully backup option could be Bob's Pizza, but this is going to be like the bottom of the barrel, in my opinion, out of your options. This comes from the legit shop. 
Reason being is because sometimes you can just get a lot of damage stacks with this thing. It's a little bit RNG based, so I do think Demon Cell is a little bit better. Anyways, for the Actus for this build, in your first slot, you're gonna really, really want Jingle Bells. If you don't have Jingle Bells, another thing you could definitely do is the Rage Scroll. The Rage Scroll is gonna be from a chest that's literally in this tree here. It's, it's this chest right there. You could always do that. Another option you can do is Dark Burn Scroll. And another thing you could do is gonna be the Raging Storm Scroll, but I recommend Jingle Jingle Bells the absolute most because Jingle Bells requires no mono to use, therefore it is going to be your best option. Now your second active is absolutely going to be Bloodshed. You need Bloodshed for this build. This is going to increase your orb spawn rate. It is very, very important for this build because you need a lot of orbs to spawn in to keep your mana up. Which brings me into the last item. Now, if you have the Blizzard Scroll, which a lot of people probably have this from the last winter event, and you can still get this to rebirthing, this thing is very, very, very good because for 200 mana, you're dealing a ton of damage with this, like a ton of damage. It is very, very effective. Now, if you don't have that, another thing you can always use is the Chaos Strike Scroll. This is going to be coming from a chest in like the big open field area. This isn't as good as the Blizzard Scroll, but since the Blizzard Scroll is a little harder to get because you have to rebirth or you have to get lucky, the Chaos Strike Scroll is definitely another option. It's basically the same thing. It does a lot of damage, just a little bit less damage. Essentially, what this build is very good at is you just spam your um, attack move. You just spam the Blizzard Scroll or the Chaos Strike Scroll, whatever one you have. If you just spam these, spam Bloodshed and Jingle Bells or... Raging Storm or Alpha Rune, whatever damage buff you're using, basically just spam your attacks and you should be fine. It isn't as effective as Death Ray or any of my other builds I've uploaded in the past, but in my opinion, this build is pretty beginner friendly. Yes, a lot of the items might require some grinding, but nothing is absurd. You guys can definitely, definitely work towards this build. It isn't nearly as hard to get as anything that requires Demon God Armor. And Medic Tier 5 is also very easy to get. And plus, this build is very, very effective against him. Let me know down below if you found this build video to be helpful. Subscribe for more and let me know if you guys want me to do more videos that are more like mid early game friendly like this one. They're a lot of fun to make and I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Bye.